planting today with an ash no-till drill. I, in my opinion, this is the best drill on the market. They have all different sizes all the way down to where you can tow them with a, a UTV. I'm putting in Austrian winter peas, radishes, and cereal rye. That'll be my winter food plot. Putting it down to the moisture because it will dry out. You know, it's going to quit raining here. We're expecting rain tonight. That's why I'm putting it in today. Once we get this planted, it should rain tonight and we should see germination next week, just in a few days because there's already moisture here. I like it that it's kind of telling it up too. We have um, scalloped openers in the front of an ash seed drill, and that'll cut right through whatever kind of turf you have. It'll also move rocks aside if you have rocks. That's what makes it a really good drill. And it's pretty precise. I mean, you don't see any seed laying on top right now. We're putting in winter peas. I, I threw some uh, leftover soybeans in there, too. And... A lot of drills you'd see seeds laying on top whenever it goes up over a rock. But here you don't see any. It's also kind of dislodging that purslane that's growing all over the place. This stuff really came in strong in this field. So about 150 pounds of cereal rye, some new radishes, because the deer are already just hammering my my radishes that I planted back in August. Well, it's still August. It's the last day of August. But they're in here already, and um, they'll clean this field right out before hunting season. So we want to get some more food on here right quick. All right, well... Getting it done right for a change. Tried putting it on top. I put uh, peas and beans on top, and as you can see, there's zero peas and beans here. This didn't work. So hopefully, uh, we'll do a lot better this time, especially if it rains a little bit tonight and tomorrow night. I'm almost thinking that we're going too deep, but maybe I'll have them put it at a half an inch. We have it set for an inch right now. All right. It looks nice and green when you look at it from the side like that. But there's not nearly enough food there to uh, handle all the deer pressure that's on this field. This is a good before and after type video. This is what this field looked like. I used to have a nice stand of clover in here, but nobody took care of it and it turned into a foxtail field. There's crab grass here, uh, stilt grass, foxtail, pretty much took over. And this is what we have now. This will be rye, cereal rye, winter peas, and brassicas. Now the brassicas, I put kale, turnips, which I know I said I didn't like turnips, but I got them cheap, so I threw them in there, and radishes. Now there's radish that we planted the first week of August in here already, but I'm just running them over because they didn't really come up very well because it's, it was a hot summer month in August didn't get much rain and uh, we got a lot of purslane in here that likes that kind of weather apparently so I think we got the foxtail under control we're putting some good seed down um, we're going into Labor Day weekend uh, October 15th this ought to be a lush field with probably 20 deer feeding in it my tree stands up that way by the way so, 
I will add to this video, hopefully. And uh, I can see I have some spray in it there. Oh, there's a. There's what we like to see. You always want to leave something for the pollinators, which, you know, there's some thistle over there full of bees and flies and different things, but along the edge, leave some flowers or even plant some. There's some milkweed coming in. So, I don't know, stay tuned. I'll try to add to this video when it grows. If it doesn't grow, I'll show you that too. But we're expecting rain tomorrow. That's a good thing. Yeah. What's this? All kinds of insects. You know, if you don't spray for insects, you get a lot of different things. And uh, I don't know what that is, but I like it that it's eating a weed that I don't like. It's horse thistle. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below and let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.